already started from the back line. Ejector on the flap to easy. He pops the Poisson, and that's D taking quite a few hits from that. Mount the Shocker gonna be an incentive for Brady Sports to back out. That's gonna be from the back line, baby. Getting chunks. Oh, this is going to be the pit helping Brady Sports out. That's a double for Bren. Make it a triple. It's one for each of the TZs. And right now, they are. Your priority Brent. is going to be here. And this orange buff, it's way too important. <laughs> oh! Legs pulled in two from the Boomies. Pulls in the Mount the Shocker does come out. But maybe he's trying to zone out the rest. And Flap TZ, he doesn't mind taking that damage. He goes up for it, but Rubini D is going to be the next on the chopping block. He tries to dodge it around with his Iron Force, but it ain't going to be enough as maybe pulls backwards and Kid, he can't do too much. He turns around with the Imperial Justice. Ace tries to go in and get the killing spree. He's got it down. Now it's a 1v3. He dodges right in between, sweeping and sliding, but Rebo finally joins the fight. This is looking pretty bad for the Burmese Ghouls, especially on Game 1. And Brent, they call it off, take their wins, and now they need to end this right here, right now. And this is going to be fueled, trying to do as much damage as possible. Maybe here, gets gone out. Ace gets gone out as well. And look at this, the burst down won't be there, but that is not nice going. arrow to scout out the bush. That's going to be Carl Easy charging up this arrow. Gets a few hits in. Mount Shocker from the back. Here comes Lusty. Way of the Dragon. That's going to be the Fatal Links by Maybe. And the fight is happening underneath the turret. That's going to be Ruby DD, the first casualty. That makes Kid the second. That's Rebo getting double. Maybe is next. D come in with the black dragon form. And Carl DZ is in his face. That's gonna be Flap DZ coming in. No regeneration for you. Far for none currently. And Ace is the lone survivor. Dodging that arrow by just an inch. And right now, he has no choice but to go down. The wipeout delayed by Brandy Sports. Oh. They take it nonetheless. Oh. Poor me, Schools. Sure landed onto Ace. Full three seconds of lockdown, allowing Lusty to control the fight. But again, another one will occur. Same way with the way of the dragon. But no, uh, uh, I'm a believer. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe gets knocked out. They trade out for Lusty, but it's worth it because it's a 3 4 1. Ace bites the dust. Now, back to what you were saying. This was yesterday, man. This was yesterday when the win rates were all at an all time low. And Ruby D. Doing your Rodri, that's when I'm dropping the arrow. You also have to look at Boom! what Joe did and Benedict gets caught out. It's like he dashed into the arrow as well. Great conditioning here by Brandy Sparks. Oh, oh, and they get another. Oh. Carl TZ takes down Ace and maybe is running for his life. That's a double for the Prodigy. I don't need the Lancelot. Y'all gave me the YSS and now Kid flickers back. Oh my goodness. If you would Finish see. Brandy Sports, they're all here, all five. Brandy Sports, they're going to try, but there are a lot of buffs on the side lanes and they're just going to go for the all in. Yep, Kid taking out here, Carl Easy barely surviving. The shutdown on the flap, easy. Oh, Ruby DD feels it. He can shut down Carl Easy, And indeed, he does the execute. Pop the Houston shit, shutting him down. Nine, one, and eight. Hold up, Rebo and Lusty, they're not done. Oh, what an alley oop by Few from down south. It's just the left here to defend. And I don't think he can do it, Black Dragon form. He's gonna try, he's gonna try. He's going in for Few. And he knows that there's a wave here. Feathered air strike by Rebo. Feathered air strike by Rebo. Lusty knocking him off. There's some shy energy, but it's not enough. That's the wipeout. We're waiting for a wave of minions. And here's one defender. Here's Kid. What can Kid do? Flame shot here by Few. He's gonna knock him off in just a matter of time. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandy Sports takes game number two. Back to back when scored oh, by from here on oh. out. But it just oh. means that the rest of BG are gonna be able to take oh. this out. And now the fight begins. That's gonna be a takedown on the Lusty. Mount Shocker here gonna be disincentivizing them. Sticking together, Carl Easy picked off by Ruby DD. Few taken out by Ace. And now Flap Easy, the only one left because Rebo's gonna back out. That's a double for Ace, a four for none. Plus the Lord, Rebo sweat. Okay, and Ace, he's gonna be able to take out one more inhibitor. Rebo getting hit by literally everything. He quickly goes for the close of Brother. To quickly try Transport himself, but Lloyd on towards the top side. All three inhibitors are done. Oh! Oh! Four, oh! Man, perfect match at Fatal Links. This could be it. Brent come in with an amazing blazing weapon. They gotta get rid of that Lloyd. If Lloyd doesn't go down, then they might lose. Thank goodness, Brent turned this around. 10k down. An amazing play coming in from Lusty. Hashtag thank you, Lusty. <laughs> the Burmese Ghouls have once more woken up. They are ready and they're looking for the finish. Yes, and Burmese Ghouls, this looks like a 2 1 going. Uh, this is a 2 1 going to the side of Burmese Ghouls. Brent Esports. Poisson's here by Flap Easy. Not going to be putting a beat on anyone. Nice oh. flicker in. That's going to be two knocked up. And oh! the line. Easy pulls the double. That's first blood. 
make it a triple. They trade out Flap Easy and Few, but is it going to be worth it? Because Cosby is still alive. Phantom X usually keeps him alive. And there's a triple for the Prodigy. The turtle still stands. It's only D. On his team, and Ye even Yishu Chin is mainly acting as utility for a large majority. He's got to outplay this. Battle Mirror Image, he gets hit by one. The third hit of G could go. The Brilliance comes out. Lusty is going to get chucked down, but the Blaze Dua is, is, is way too oh. early. Flap Easy is going to get right on top of him with the help of Few. It's going good, but maybe now all by himself. Where is Ace? Ace needs to get here to get his damage down. He gets off the Flap Easy. He secures the kill. It's a two for three trade off. But at the end of the day, the Bormi is going down here as much as possible. He just wants to not see oh. him recall back to base. Oh, that's going to be the immortality pop onto Carl Easy. No! Oh, not even that's the time execution or. The Thorn Rose will save you, ladies and gentlemen. Lusty is the last to go. And that's going to be Burmese Ghouls taking game level number three. Maybe just hit level four. The kid, oh, looks like he just needs to get a little bit off the little bit of the monitor. It should be level four. Yep, hits level four now. Maybe trying to make the play. Here comes. Oh, no. He is just caught down right now. Oh, he's alive. He's what? alive. No way. This time. No way. The quicksand guy kept him alive. And now D, he's trying to finish him off. But he's by time repo. Oh! He makes it out. No way. No way. Insane! Can we get a replay on that? He just outplayed Pervy's goals. And what a finisher. Maybe he jumps on in with a thousand pounder and now forces out Lusty into that corner where the wow. Hurricane is forcing out the fight. Ruby Kid is going down. Ace already coming in with a blazing duet. It's not going to be enough. He does get the Golden Staff, but the rest of the team, Hop Red, is on the run. Can they turn this around? He turns it and tries to go. Kid gets on top of him. This Diamond Force has been working out perfectly well and they catch them out again. Kid, this wonder kid landing every important abyssal arrow yet. What did we tell them about? Shooting jump on Ruby DD is trying to hold them up, but D into a sideways. They don't realize it. They're going oh. to use the feathered air side, trying to track down few, but Lusty is able to cancel it out. They pick him up. There goes Kid. There goes D. And now the entire back line is gone. Brent keeps on focusing on the front line. Ruby DD is the next to fall. A double kill coming in from Flat Z. And maybe he just needs to sacrifice his life to allow Ace to live for the greater good. What did I tell you? This is a great activation coming from Brent Eastport. Getting Morton. the right moment to go for this. Oh, play and no, he got the winner truncheon. But will Whoa. it matter? Will it even matter? No, it does not. Oh, he shadow kill going. Kid, kid, he calls it to the back line. He's trying to take out Few. Kid is the next to fall. The brilliance. There what about? it is. Brent, bring it to a game seven. And we are going to this, this ladies and gentlemen. This fight is not over. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not what we all deserve as die-hard, ever-loving MLBB esports fans? Ladies and gentlemen, Brent. go for this push. Looking for a conversion. Ace puts a few beats. Gonna be popping the Torn Apart memory from here on very soon now. Oh, nice wild charge here by Ruby DD. And they decimate Brent Esports from underneath their Ooh. own tower. Three for none. The ghouls are feeling it. They are pouncing back. They are looking at really turn this into the wrong nice free pickoff for Bren E Sports. Nothing for Burmese Bulls to take here. Hold up. They jump in. Oh. Nice pull out the Lusty. He goes down. Kid gets the kill. And they are going to be backing off one for one. Blazing oh. Duet. Blazing Duet by Kyle Deasy. Allowed by the Sound Force to keep them pinned down. That's going to be a double. Down goes Ace. Down goes maybe D as well. Kid is the only survivor in this onslaught. Ladies and gentlemen, Brand Esports have gone four for one. Let's go, Brand Esports. They, they seem to break this Lord, and they have to be able to protect themselves, but Bren, they want to force the situation. They're going to be starting with the inhibitor down on bot side. Few taking a little bit of damage, but D wants to go even a little bit further. He's trying to get a few. He's trying to execute few, but instead, he gets kicked on backwards from DZ now trapped all by himself in the King's Calling. Rebo gets pulled on in. He's trying to get on out of there. Maybe flickers forward, but now oh. this is where they turn oh. the tides here. Bren, he spots the Lord. Oh my goodness! Is it. Kid is the only one left. Can he defend? Ladies and gentlemen, Bren, Esports are your M2 champions! From the lower bracket, they crawled out! Bren, Esports are your M2 world champions! With one perfect team fight, this is it. We're gonna pass it to our host to celebrate our winners itself. And, well, 
This will be the end of our match, but now it's time for Brand Esports to go and claim what is rightfully theirs. The Pro hits moment. out. Thank you so much from the caster's desk. This is us signing off. Yeah, they're screaming. What an incredible series, an incredible M2. They are going to be looking back at the history books and M2, the closest best of seven you have ever seen in Mobile Legends history. Now, I'm pretty sure all over in the Philippines, they are screaming, Brang La Malakas. Congratulations, people. Congratulations, Congratulations Philippines. Wow. All right. Let us catch our breaths for a while now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching Bring it us. to the front, Ducky, take a few steps for yeah, Brandy Sports. To the front. Okay. Joe Kim, we're going to do this on the count of three. Like, one, one, two, two three. three. And we go. Your champions once again, Brand Esports for M2 World Championships. Bobo Legends Bang Bang deliver one of its greatest finals ever. Lysander, I dare say, Brand Lam Malakas. Lam Malakas, indeed. Congratulations, Philippines. Well earned, well deserved.